Today we have a brand new rear passenger climate control and entertainment display for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. The super easy installation that can be done under 15 minutes and really adds value to your car. This display allows rear passengers to control the climate control settings, rear seat heating, and also comes with entertainment options such as YouTube and gaming. This is the upgraded version 2 of the previous generation display we reviewed last month. This display, similar to the first version, was sent to us by Pimp My EV for installation and review. The kit comes with everything you need and doesn't require any tools to install. We're going to remove the existing bracket with the air vents and replace it with the new screen. Go to the rear passenger seat and pull up on the air vent unit. Pinch the middle part of the connector and unhook it from the unit. Reach the very bottom part of the rear console and pull the bottom bracket out. Grab the new wire harness that came with the kit and fish the smaller plug through the, this bottom opening. You can then grab this plug from the top opening. Pinch on the middle part of the OBD plug and while holding it down, pull the plug out. If you have a newer Tesla, this plug will be blue for you and larger in size. Plug the new male connector into the female Tesla connector and the male Tesla connector into the new female connector. You can hide this new plug in that bottom space. Then install the outer bracket we removed earlier. Next, connect the plug we routed from the bottom to the new display plug. Then connect the Tesla USB plug into the new display USB plug. They sent me the wrong plug here, so I'm going to leave that part out, but that is how you make the final connection. Then just align the display unit and push it in. You're done with the installation. This is what the boot logo looks like. So let's go over the display and what it offers. So right here, this is the main screen. This is the climate control screen. Right here on top is how you set your fan speed for the entire car. So if you increase this, you'll hear the fan going off on my car. So let me turn that off. So that fan speed is now set to low. Just keep in mind that I have turned on the climate control on the, the main screen. Without that, this will not work. So once the main screen is turned on, that's when it can control it. Then if you press on this power icon right here, this is when this rear vents are gonna be activated. So the rear climate control is now activated. You can put this in auto um, or you can just do this manual. Then you can turn this off right here. And towards the right is where you have your keep climate control on. You have the bio defense mode and then you got the ambient light. And this ambient light, I haven't been able to get this to work. So I'll make a follow-up video after I look at this display and ask the manufacturer on how to get the ambient light to work. Then on the top left here, that's the outside temperature, and this is the battery. So if you tap on the battery icon, actually this interface shows up and it visually shows you, you know, where the battery is. And I hope that they continue to you know, improve it. This looks so much like the Tesla's UI, and I really hope that they may continue to make this better and keep up with Tesla. But this is pretty awesome here. Then if we go back, uh, right here is the volume control, so up and down, and then this is your, you know, previous, next, skip, play, pause. So all of those settings are right here. In the bottom, we got the AC and then the air circulation, and right here is your seat heater. So you can control the seat heaters, you know, you can turn on all seat heater, you can turn off all seat heater at once, and this just controls the rear seat heating option. Again, this one is the main, and then this one is your seat belt warning, so you can go over here and then see the seat belt warning, and then here, of course, is your temperature control. I'm still working to figure out how to change this to Fahrenheit. Right now, it is in Celsius, so that is something that I will make a follow-up video or put a link uh, when I have the actual manual to see how to set that up. But other than that, this is a standard feature here. And then of course, this is an Android system. So if you scroll down, you'll see all the Android settings here. And then if you click on this icon right here, this is where you can see the car setting, you can see the files. Uh, there is that Play Store right here. There is YouTube. This split play allows you to use the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay on this display right here. So it offers a lot of uh, flexibility. It offers a lot of benefit. You can download other apps through there. And then this was amazing that it actually has an owner's manual uh, right here. So if you click on that, it loads up the owner's manual. And you know this is amazing because then you can see the, 
see the everything the settings what each of them do so this was really nice we usually don't see this on this car mod um, you know they usually come from China and sometimes we don't even see the owner's manual at all even in printed paper so this was pretty awesome to see um, that they actually included a full owner's manual here it has tutorials on how to set the seat heater seat belt reminder so this is pretty neat kudos to the manufacturer for including the owner's manual and as far as some of the settings here there is music there's video you can load music and video directly to this there's car info there's settings there's audio settings where you can actually adjust the decibels and play around with the audio here uh, there is the standard classic there's a lot of setting options that this offers so that's pretty cool um, bluetooth music of course you need to connect this with bluetooth your phone or something to connect with the bluetooth there is the gallery where you can put pictures and videos right here using a usb drive right there um, there's the file manager um, it, it has the internal storage looks like 25 gig then um, you got the the user manual that we talked about google chrome so you can load up a google chrome back here even while driving you can search on the wave so that is pretty convenient um, and then you got your play store where you can download all the apps and games directly from here I like that this is fully integrated. As you can see, there is nothing sticking out from the top like the version one display. And this looks like it could have come with the car. So this makes the, the design makes the display look like it's a factory OEM option, more like that Model X refresh that we see where they have the rear screen. And actually they use the same type of UI on those new refresh model as an X. So that is a really big upgrade in a very relatively quick time from version one to version two. I also like that it came with all the parts already installed. So this was a true plug and play where it took less than 15 minutes to fully install the display because it had all the parts already embedded in it. I just had to remove the old unit and put the new one in. Uh, this screen does not block the air vent. You can still see it. And what they did was they kind of adjusted the angle slightly upward so that even people who are taller can see this display very well. As you can see, I'm increasing the camera to very, very high and you can still see the display very well. So that was another fix that they did with this version is they tilted the display angle so that it became more applicable for everyone. I'll likely do more testing and bring out another video, especially answering any questions you might have. So please do me a favor and list your questions or comments in the comment section below. I just wanted to make a quick video to show you the product the installation and my initial impression. So far, I really like this display compared to the version one that I installed last month. If you enjoyed today's video, please help me out by subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so. I'll be back again with another cool Tesla accessory soon. Thank you for watching.